Hello family, we thank God for today. We bless him for all he's done for us. Today I'm going to base my prayer on the message I shared on the 28th of February, which was that God will meet you at your dedicated place of worship. The passage of scripture I want to read is Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 9. It says, If evil comes on us, or the sword of judgment, or plague, or famine, We will stand before this house and before you, for your name and your presence is in this house, and we will cry out to you in our distress, and you will hear and save us. Father, we want to glorify your name for being our mighty God, our gracious Lord. God, who is all-powerful, almighty, King of kings and Lord of lords, you who reign supreme, you who reigns and rules even in the affairs of men. That Lord God, despite who you are, that you want to still even be in relationship with us, that you invite us to be a people who worship you, not only Father God, because you even need our worship, because you're God all by ourselves, but it is a privilege we have to be able to worship you and for our worship or God to ascend to you as a sweet smelling fragrance. Father, we thank you that, God, you also meet us, Father God, that wherever you've called us or dedicated for us to meet with you, that when we go to those places, Father God, and we call upon your name, that your word says that you will hear and you will answer. Glorious God, we want to thank you that you're reminding us that wherever we have dedicated as our place of worship, It could be our home. It could be where we gather with other brethren, even God in the body of Christ, that when we gather and assemble in those places, you will meet with us. Your word has even told us that where two or three are gathered in the name of Jesus, your presence is with us. So we want to thank you, God Almighty, for that incredible privilege that you've given to us. So God Almighty, in our times of need, In our times, O God Almighty, when we do not know where to turn, may we remember that, Lord God, in that dedicated place of worship, we can meet with you. In that dedicated place of worship, we can have an encounter with you. In that dedicated place of worship, you will reveal yourself, your power and your might to us in such an incredible way, Lord. Therefore, may we be those of God Almighty who take care and Father God Almighty acknowledge, O oh God, those places, O oh God, we've dedicated to you, that God, we do not treat those places anyhow, that we look after those places. For where we know that your spirit dwells, Lord God, Father God, we cannot just treat it anyhow. And so we're even reminded that when the people built the temple, Father, you gave them specific instructions on how they were even to build the temple. You gave them specific instructions, Father God, on how they were even to approach you, Father God, when they were entering that temple. Father, whatever it is you've spoken to us, for some of us, O Lord, in our homes, we may even have dedicated places where we meet with you for prayer. And those dedicated places have become an anointed place, Lord. Father, whatever it is you're requiring of us to do, Lord, may our ears be attentive to your voice, O God, that we will recognize that you are the glorious and mighty God, that we cannot come into your presence anyhow. And therefore, wherever we've dedicated, we cannot treat it anyhow. Lord God, just as when we have our own homes, our own maybe offices, our rooms and things like that, Father, there are certain things we do that makes that place very special. In the same way, there are certain things you want us to do that will show not just to you, but to other people that in that place, because your presence is in that place, that we do not treat it anyhow. So, Father, whatever it is you're requiring of us, Lord, to treat those dedicated places, Father God, well, so that your name is glorified and honored, so that when other people enter those places, they will recognize that it is not just a building, but it is a place where we meet and have an encounter with you. Help us to do so, God. And whatever it is you tell us to do, may we, O God, be quick to obey. Father, so if we have had a bad attitude or we have not treated or handled with esteem, those dedicated places of worship, Father, forgive us. And as we protect and look after those places, help us, O God, to teach our children and our children's children 
the value, Father God, of even ensuring that God Almighty, those dedicated places of worship, are handled and, and looked after properly because, of oh God, your name dwells in that place. For Lord God, when Jehoshaphat and the people of Israel came before you, Father God, in their cry, God, he reminded you that that was the place that you had dedicated um, and said to them that if they came to you in that place and they lifted up their voice, you will hear them, you will answer. And truly you who is faithful to your word, you heard their cry and you answered, Father, and you did a miraculous thing for them, Lord. So we want to thank you, God, for what you have reminded us of and for what you will continue to do in our places of worship. We give you glory. And we want to also thank you for the people of Ukraine. We continue to pray, Jehovah God, that you will overthrow the schemes and the plots of God Almighty, even of the Russians, Father God. That, Lord God Almighty, you will supernaturally bring a swift end, Lord God Almighty, even to what is going on in that in that nation, Father God, that this conflict shall cease by your supernatural power. For there's only you who is able to intervene and to thwart the plans of the enemy, that the death of God Almighty and the destruction that, Father, the enemy has sought to bring about, Father God, shall cease in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God Almighty, take absolute control and every spiritual warfare that is going on, Lord God, may ye please you, O God, because of the cries of the saints, Father God, to dispatch your warring armies, Father God, who would wage warfare in the spirit realm against the hordes of darkness, Father God, that are perpetrating this evil, even through individuals, Lord God. We also pray that may you, O God, execute judgment even against Ukraine, um, Russia, Lord, rather, and Father God Almighty, let there be hope, 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 hope. Let's light, Father God, penetrate the darkness that is hovering over that nation. And we thank you that, Jesus, you are the light of the world. So be exalted in the nation of Ukraine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now we're going to go over our memory verse in First Peter 2.10. It says, once you were not a people at all, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy. But now you have received mercy. We're personalizing it by saying, once I was not a part of God's people at all, but now I am one of God's people. Once I had not received mercy, but now I have received mercy. The Lord bless you, cause his face to shine upon you. And I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow in Jesus name. Amen.